What's up, Jim here. Welcome back to J Street Moto. Welcome to the channel if it's your first time. For the past couple of weeks, I haven't been able to create content like I normally would. Meaning I haven't been able to ride as much as I normally would. I'm not gonna get into the details of why, other than to say there's nothing mechanically wrong with the bike, or you guys would know about it. And I didn't, I didn't wreck. I haven't been in an accident or anything. I just haven't been able to get out and ride the way I normally would. I was trying to figure out ways that I could continue to produce content even though I wasn't able to ride. That's the reason I made that video a couple of weeks ago about how to get Siri to work with your 24 Road Glider Street Glide. Juan had a suggestion. We were talking the other day and he had a suggestion. He said, you know, it'd kind of be cool if you went back to where J Street Moto really started, which for you guys that are new to the channel, it, it really started. I really started producing content on this channel in July of 2022. So Juan suggested, he's like, why don't you take, you know, clips from the raw footage of all those like major trips. So think the Iron Butt Challenge that we did, think the uh, California trip, think Canada, the big ones, right? Because those are really the big. Canada and California are big trips that I have footage for. We've been to Sturgis, we've been to Key West. Uh, we've ridden other places, but I wasn't recording content when we went there, so they don't really count, is a good way to put it. But kind of capture the raw footage and, and snip it up so that, you know, I can show you a condensed version of what was, for us, 12 and a half, 13 days of riding, or 10 days of riding, or in the case of the Iron Butt, one day of a lot of riding. So that's what this video is going to be. I hope you stick around and watch. Uh, I've captured some of the highlights, at least from the areas that we rode through, some of my favorite places in both America and the part of Canada that we've ridden through. I will voice over in certain sections to let you know kind of what road we're on in case you're digging kind of the vibe of that road and like to go ride it yourself. I will, I will flag it there. I will also leave down in the description of this video links to the playlists for the California trip and the Canada trip so that you could go back there and look at the individual days because we made an episode for each day of that trip just in case you want to go back and look at it. It, it. They were really cool trips. There's a lot of really fun times crammed into this. What's probably going to be, if I had to guess, a 15, 16, maybe 17 minute video. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you stick around and watch it. Well, it is. What time is it, David? 341. 3.41, Saturday morning, April 23rd, and we are loading up and getting started and getting ready to uh, head to Nashville. That'll be our first stop and turn, and then we'll head to Birmingham, Alabama, and then back to Charlotte just to uh, say that we could ride a thousand miles in 24 hours and get our iron butt. So for our iron butt, we decided to do a kind of a triangle. We rode from Charlotte to Nashville, Nashville down to Birmingham, Birmingham back to Charlotte. Total trip ended up being 1,080 miles. We went through five different states and we did it all in 19 hours. two trip was my first uh, real attempt at trying to capture one of these trips and then produce it as a daily kind of episodal thing um, and we I'm just this is showing just like basically a couple of shots from each day uh, that whole trip was 7,030 miles we went through 21 different states and we did it in 12 and a half days of riding. You're seeing some of the attractions on Route 66 right now. We did hit Route 66 when we were on this trip. Uh, probably my favorite section to ride through in this country is once you get way out west, think like Arizona, New Mexico. In fact, speaking of Arizona, what you're watching right now, this is Arizona 89A going between Flagstaff and Prescott, Arizona. That's the direction we rode it. And it is by far, it was the most phenomenal section of road we rode the entire time we crossed the country. From a scenery perspective, from a technical perspective, and from just a sheer fun perspective, this road's awesome. Um, 
We hit California, we made the turn, and then we started coming back. This is on our way home. We're heading through Lake Tahoe. Strongly suggest you hit there sometime. Lake Tahoe is a fun place to go, just kind of hang out, and it's a fun place to ride through as well. This is US 50, uh, specifically the US 50 through Nevada, and it's the loneliest highway in America, at least that section of US 50 is. And I gotta tell you, it's a lot of fun to ride on a road when you might not see another car for I think we saw 100 cars this day over the 480 miles that we rode. We did take a ferry across uh, Lake Michigan and um, just because we didn't want to ride through Chicago. And now we're almost home. Uh, this trip was really cool. We had a lot of fun, but we didn't do a lot of candid content. Canada trip in 2023, uh, I really recorded that one differently. Let me give you the specs on that trip first. We rode 4,553 miles through nine different states, plus like two or three different provinces in Canada. I didn't keep track of that. And we did it in nine days. Um, this one was one where we had a destination we were going to and then we were gonna stay there for like four days, ride around that area and then come back home. Uh, it was really, it was really freaking cool. Uh, it, it's always interesting to ride in another country. It, it's just, it's, it's, there's some similarities and then there's some differences, but Canada's so close to us. I mean, we were there, we were literally crossing the border a couple hours into our ride on day two. So it's really not that hard for us to get up there. And uh, it, it really is cool to get up there because the, the, I mean, it's just, it's a different environment and it, it's a lot of fun. And so this one I did record differently. I, I recorded a lot more candid content. I had a second camera that I was running plus David's camera. Um, it, so it, it just, it made for, in my opinion, a more interesting series. So, you know, hope you enjoy the ride. We're pulling into Halifax right now, um, which is where we, that was our intended like place that we were gonna stay for four days. things we were planning to do when we went to Canada was ride what's called the Cabot Trail. It's this big loop. I want to say it's like a 180 mile loop around Cape Breton Island, which is just, it's one of the Northern Islands in Nova Scotia. And uh, in order to do it, we had to relocate for one night to a hotel on Cape Breton Island so that we were able to do the loop, which is going to take you about six hours. We couldn't get there, do the loop and get home in one day but we could do the loop and get home in one day. So that's what we chose to do. You're seeing us pull onto Cape Breton Island right now, and then we're gonna have dinner at the hotel. the Cabot Trail, which is something we've been looking forward to. We started planning this damn trip. Welcome to the Cabot Trail. I gotta tell you guys, um, not in terms of technical riding, but certainly in terms of just sheer beauty and the scenery that we saw and just the enjoyment of the ride, 
Uh, this one ranks up there probably in my top five. It is amazing. The, the way that this road just kind of goes on the edge of the island. If you ride it counterclockwise, the water is pretty much always going to be on your right. Uh, and it's just, I mean, it's freaking gorgeous. You've got mountains on one side, you've got the ocean or, you know, bays on the other. It is a, it's an insane cool ride. If you ever get the chance to go to Nova Scotia, do not pass this one up. This is, this is one of your must rides. And you can see it here. I mean, it, this is, this is, we pulled off, we probably took six and a half, maybe seven hours to ride it. A lot of that's due to the speed limit of the road. And it's due to the fact that you're going to want to pull off on the scenic, scenic overlooks and look at, you know, what you're riding by, because it truly is gorgeous. It really is. It's one, it, I, I can't, words and video do not do it justice. This is one of those things you have to see in person. It's kind of like the Grand Canyon. ventured to Port Hawkesbury uh, in the in Fundy Bay, basically, to go down there and have lunch and ride around a little bit and then come back to our house in Halifax. That's what you're getting, that's what you're watching right now is us getting there and you're gonna see the restaurant we ate at and you're gonna see some of the riding. They've got slow smoke cold beef on a brioche bun. I think that might be what I have to get. We met this cute little dog, Hudson. He's right here. There's Hudson. Did you get some water, buddy? <laughs> yes. You're gonna be on my YouTube channel. <laughs> Just as quickly as the adventure starts, it ends. We are now on our way home. We're heading back towards the border. Uh, on this day, we ran into, we always have, whenever we take these big trips, think multiple day trips, we always end up having one day where the weather is just absolute crap. It's just horrible. And this was that day for this trip. As soon as we crossed the border, we were in, we were in and out of torrential, downpours and thunderstorms for two thirds of the day until we got just north of Boston where we were stopping for the night. Uh, so there wasn't a lot recorded. I did capture some of the, the bad rain, but um, really there was, it, you're, I mean, we, were, we were going slow. We had all our lights on. We were running our flashers at one point because water was standing probably four inches in the interstate. And it's just, there's no time to take your hand off the handlebar and push record on the camera when that shit's going down. So yeah, you're seeing some of that now. And uh, yeah, but I mean, even with these hard days, they make you appreciate the good ones. And you know, you feel like you've accomplished something when you finish the day.
tried our best to, you know, stop at Harley dealerships when we were on this trip. We all like, one likes to collect coins, poker chips, I guess is what they are. Uh, I like to get shirts from every place that I've kind of ridden to. Uh, this was Steel Electric City, Harley Davidson. And um, cool place, a lot of selection. You saw one earlier in this trip when we stopped at Privateer Harley Davidson in uh, Halifax. Um, so yeah, I mean, drop it in the comments if you guys do the same thing. Do you, you know, try to make stops at different Harley dealerships along the way when you take a trip? I don't, I don't know. Maybe we're the only ones that do that, but we tend to try and do it. This is we're basically home at this point from Canada. for sticking around this long and watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it as much as we enjoyed riding it. Because th there was a lot of, I mean, I'm talking, <laughs> there are a lot of miles crammed into this, what's probably gonna be, if I had to guess, 15 to 17 minute video. There's a whole lot of miles crammed into it. And uh, every single one of them I've enjoyed. I'd do them over again. The reason there is nothing in here from 2024 is because we really haven't taken any trips in 2024. Our plan for 24 was not to take a really huge trip and instead do some like smaller like weekend getaways. Uh, there have been things that have gotten in the way of that because we are now in September. It resulted in us not being able to do what we had originally planned for 24. Uh, and that's not a problem because we've got a big trip planned for 2025, so stick around. I am not gonna announce it, this is just a teaser. Uh, I'm not gonna announce what we're doing yet. So stick around, keep watching content on the channel, keep coming back, because uh, at some point there's gonna be a video that drops that tells you what to look forward to in 2025, and I promise you, it's gonna be freaking epic. Thanks for watching. Again, like, subscribe, click the notification bell, share it with your friends. All that stuff's free to you and it helps the channel. Always, ride safe. Yeah, right? One, two, three, shoot. Ah. Asshole. Really? <laughs> Peace out, bitches! <laughs>